Hello and welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's quite a pretty card. Um, the embossing folder is lovely. And this is the embossing folder. It's black. And this is a Sizzix embossing folder uh, called Botanical. And it was in my birthday box. I'm using quite a lot of birthday stuff today. Um, yeah, so this is the embossing folder I used and I'll sh show you what I did afterwards. Well, I won't show you, I'll tell you. I'm using the Touch of Ink stamp set and I'm using that butterfly and I'm going to be using Thinking of You, not Birthday Wishes. The reason why is when I did this card, I wanted it to be that way, hence that flower there. But this was too big to go across that way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the sentiment smaller and a circle, not an oval. With the butterfly on it. And I'll show you how I did that in a minute. For the cards, I have got... A white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at five and one eighth, and folded in half. I've got a piece of Bermuda Bay at three and th three and three eighths by five and a quarter. Then I have got a piece of the cardstock that I done with the ink and the embossing folder. I've already done it. It's quite a it's a 3D um, embossing folder. And that measures three inches by four and seven eighths. And that goes across there. I've got a scrap of white and a scrap of Bermuda Bay for the sentiment and the butterfly and for the inside I've just got some of the ombre, oh so ombre paper the Bermuda Bay colour and a piece of Whisper White and that measures five and a quarter by three and a quarter so that's five and a quarter by three and a quarter and this one will be five by three and that's just going to sit inside like that, just so it gives like the same as the outside. But for now, we need to stamp our butterfly and our sentiment. So I have got Bermuda Bay here. And we're going to stamp our butterfly first. And we're going to stamp that right there. Now we need two butterflies. So, let's get another bit of card. Alright. And our thinking of you, which we're going to put right next to his feet, legs, like that. That's all we need. Right, to colour in the butterfly, we used. Daffodil Delight, Dark and Light, and a bit of Mellow, Mango Melody, yeah, so we're just colouring the, mm, that brush end's gone, colouring the, um, don't need to pay too much attention to the butterfly that's this one. Right. 
Looks like my yellow might be running out. Oh, it's a bit of a light. light. Alright, do the same on this one. This is running out. Just ordered some new pens as well. Um, the re ink this. Right. Now with the dark. This one. Yeah, this is dark. We're gonna go like halfway. I didn't do it on the other butterfly. Uh, and then with the mango melody, we're going to finish off this bit. And then if we can with the light, Right, that's run out. So what we'll do is get dark, so saffron, and blend it in with that one. do is just keep colouring over it to get rid of the blending lines, well, not the blending lines, the darker colour lines which I've done there. I'm going to do. Oh, never done this one. I mean, you won't see most of this underneath, you'll see the edges bit. But you won't see right down there, so. Now I'm going to add a little bit of soft suede just to the Side here. I just wanted a bit of brown on it.
like that. Now then, put them away after. We've got to cut that one out by hand, and this one we're going to get a circle die. I think I was going to use this one. That's too big. Yeah, I could use that one. Right. I'm going to put that on there and that on there and hopefully this will fit. Not quite. Right then, I don't want to cut from the antennas to the bottom of his body. So what I'm going to do is just place this like that. Oh no, I want that in so I'm going to place it like that. So that this end doesn't cut off. Now, last time I did this on my big um, machine, it's not going to let me do it because it's not together. Come on. Right, I'm gonna hang that over. Let's see if that works. Aha. So you've got to hang it over to get a partial cut. Right, take that off. Oh, I need that one. Let's do this. Cut one of these out as well. No, I'm not going to. Do I want a big one like that? No, I want just a. That'll do. Have a scalloped circle. Making this up as I go along. dies away. Want that. Right with our snips what we're going to do now is get rid of all this. Don't need that. What we're going to do is cut out the butterfly. Obviously by hand. Because we caught the body on the inside of the die, all we've got to do is cut out the wing.
cut out that bit of the body and there you are. And that will stick on there like that. And hopefully that will go. Oh, it does. Right then, now we have to cut out this butterfly and this one we cut actually on the ink. We don't leave any uh, white markings and we do cut the body to give us somewhere to stick it. following it all the way around. Right, get rid of that. And what we're going to do with this, I'm going to bend its body over. No, it's not much. And we're going to stick his body back on there. And we'll lift the wing up. So, let's stick this all together mm. and then we'll add the little bit glue thought it had dried up then right because this is embossed we shall put plenty of glue on it Plenty of flat surfaces on it. Right. Now this has got quite a wide border. All the way around. And then we'll put this onto the card. Give them that a white border. And do the same with the inside card. Put that together. I haven't stamped nothing on the inside because you don't know what kind of thinking a U card you're going to send, whether it be a sympathy or whatever you send a thinking a U card for. Right, oh, I've got to stick this on. to stick that up on dimensionals. Yeah I did. Don't know if I do like that brown on that butterfly, you know. Let's 
Let's see if I can disguise this a bit with some crumb cake. Better. I don't know if you could see this on online, but I didn't like the way the I done the brown on the edges. Yeah. All right. We need to glue the body down on top of that body and we need to put a dimensional which I should have done before I stuck the body down under the wing. Just so that it is sticking up like that. And then we'll add dimensionals to this. You're all shouting, that's too many dimensionals. No, it's not. Right. That is our card. Should we add some gems to this? You can tell I was lazy when I made the cards. I wouldn't go and get the gems out. Um, when I was making the card at home. That at home. I'm at home. Late at night because I wouldn't go and get the gems out the cupboard. And three for this one. And this one I'm not putting in a straight line. I'm putting them in a triangle. All 
Right, there are my cards for today. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you want like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you want, if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.